Hi everyone, welcome to CMR Chat. My name is Fazine. I am the Head of Marketing at ASUS Systems Business Group for Australia and New Zealand. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much, Fazine, for joining us. Can you share a little bit more about what does your company do? Sure. So at ASUS, we very much follow our vision, which is in search of incredible for everything to enhance a digital lifestyle everywhere every, for anyone. So we very much live by this vision and it is the foundation of everything we do in terms of from product development to R&D to how we take the product to market and how we engage with our customers. So in terms of what ASUS does, we've got a very comprehensive product portfolio and we we offer uh, comprehensive laptop solutions um, regardless of what an end user's need may be whether it's for commercial use for education use for day-to-day -day computing entertainment gaming content creation no matter what your need is there is an asus laptop for you so in addition to our laptops we also have a range of mobile phones as well as handheld gaming devices and different form factor mobile computing solutions. So what we continuously do as a, as a brand is that all of these mobile product solutions, we consistently enhance them with the latest and the best technologies like AI, OLED displays in laptop, intelligent cooling technology, the military grade durability and things like that. So yeah, that's in a nutshell what we do. Thank you. And of course, since this is an interview about CMO chat, so I wanted to get to know you better. And as the head of marketing in your company, what is currently your main marketing focus? If I was to group my focus, current focus areas into three areas, first one would be customer centric innovation. So innovative products are at the heart of everything we do, but just simply having the product is not enough. When we bring in these new technologies and innovations to market, it is essentially with a purpose to enhance our end users' lifestyle and enhance their computing experience. So from a marketing perspective, it is quite important for me to be able to communicate that through an effective marketing in terms of what benefit is it adding to a consumer lifestyle? How is it enhancing their digital lifestyle? So that customer centric message is quite important for me. Secondly, keeping global brand DNA, but with a localized approach. So ASUS has a very strong global brand identity worldwide, but what makes our marketing strategy quite successful is to have that localized approach um, that resonates with ANZ consumers. So while keeping the global brand DNA, we still need to localize our efforts within the local region. And thirdly, um, which is a key focus for us is the whole AI world of AI, which is um, you know, a lot of buzzword around that. So the AI leadership, it is essentially a transformative technology with a potential to revolutionize how we live and work. So as a brand, we see a lot of opportunities to tap into this hype, but also position ASUS as the go-to brand for cutting edge technology. So we believe that you know, really tapping into this technology, being able to talk to our customer in a language they understand in a customer centric manner is what's going to be able to take our brand to the next level. I love it. Hearing about being customer centric and obviously making sure things are localized and at the same time using AI as a means of furthering what you already have right now and expanding it to better use. That's really nice to hear, Farzeen. What I wanted to ask now is if you can tell me about a particularly innovative or successful marketing campaign your team has recently executed. Sure. So, you know, in my last five years at ASUS, there has been quite a few campaigns that I've been fortunate enough to be part of, and I am very proud of the team to be able to execute it. But I guess today I can talk about one of the most recent launch events that we've had, which is our very first ASUS Copilot Plus PC, which is the VivoBook S15 launch. The launch just took place just about a month ago. And the reason it was quite a milestone and special to us was because it was straight off the back of a huge global announcement made by Microsoft. So essentially, Microsoft has announced a whole new segment of laptops, uh, which is called the Copilot Plus PC. What it essentially is, is the AI functionality is built into the laptops for customers to use it. And the reason the launch was so special and successful for from our perspective was that we were able to launch that within 
24 to 36 hours of a global announcement, which is quite an achievement locally, because as you would know, often from a big global announcement, there is a bit of a lag to bring products in the local market. So for us to be able to do that, it was a fantastic. It was a media launch event. So the media who attended were absolutely thrilled to be able to hold the devices, be the first media globally to be able to hold the product in their hand and touch and feel the product. So it's been an amazing launch event. We had a great attendance. And following that launch, we've also taken into market more of an awareness and education based campaigns through content, social media, digital and PR, just to educate the market because it's a relatively new technology to uh, get them to understand the benefit of what it means for them to have an AI based PC. So, so far, the launch of the campaign has been very successful and we are very pleased with how it's tracking. Um, of course, there is a lot more to come, but um, it's been quite good so far. That's really good to hear. Congratulations for Zine. Um, you know, definitely a lot of the effort that is built into these campaigns are because of your team and how in sync everyone is, especially it being a global launch and whatnot. And, you know, I, I wanted to ask the specific questions because with the success also comes challenges. So what are your biggest marketing challenges at the moment? I wouldn't say a challenge. I would say it's probably more of an opportunity to work on from a marketing perspective. But one that I can think of at this moment is really uh, as marketeers, um, the ability to demonstrate our ASUS premium product range in a market that is quite price conscious at the moment with cost of living and everything going up it is very much driven by price. So, you know, while we believe that uh, price is certainly a key deciding factor in a laptop purchase, however, it is not the only one. So our focus has very much been on educating potential customers on the benefits on investing on a premium ASUS device. And some of those benefits could be a superior performance, which could enhance their productivity or enhance durability and reliability, which could make the product last a lot longer, therefore saving money in the long term for consumers, or a stronger customer support and service, which gives an additional peace of mind and a positive consumer uh, experience. So we feel that it's not a challenge, but in fact, it's an opportunity for us to be able to effectively communicate these added values where we can reinforce the premium perception of ASUS while still keep it appealing for the price sensitive consumer or target audience. I couldn't agree more. I think uh, a lot of it falls on obviously the information that you provide to potential customers or even those that are interested. Educating is, is one of the ways that I would you know, very much agree on being able to continue marketing your product. And I wanted to ask this question next, and it is how does your company stay ahead of its competitors in terms of marketing? We have quite a few approaches to ensure that, you know, uh, ASUS is always at the forefront of marketing. So again, going back to my earlier points, uh, you know, global strength and local relevance is quite a key to us. So our global reach grants us access to a wealth of resources and insights, which we leverage. But what we still do is with a combination of the global assets and insights we have, combine that with the local market insights and craft our GTM strategies to make sure that what we are taking to market is relevant for ANZ consumers. We do strongly believe in strong partnership. Like any company, there is always an industry ecosystem. You know, that ecosystem is built with our distributions companies, our partners who are selling our products like the retailers and the resellers, uh, our media network, industry vendors and partners. So we uh, work together to gain insight and best practices from them. And we often go to market together with the solution. So we believe that enables us to stay ahead of the curve and stay more relevant. And of course, data-driven decisions. So we constantly monitor the consumer behavior, the consumer buying patterns, and the performance of our marketing activities, and then optimize our future activities to make sure that we're getting the results we want. I love it. And speaking of marketing activities, what I want to know now is, in your opinion, what does the future of marketing look like? Look, from my perspective, I think there is no doubt that the future of marketing will be AI driven, you know, and we are very excited from ASUS to be at the forefront of this new era of marketing. I think, you know, fundamentally, AI has a powerful set of tools that can really transform how we connect with end users and consumers and how we deliver value and communicate with them. So, you know, whether it's from a marketing perspective, whether it's 
enhanced efficiency and productivity, automating the repetitive tasks, or you know, data-driven insight on steroids. You can say, you know, the AI has the power to go through vast amounts of data that no humans can do, which at the end gives you a much deeper understanding of a consumer behavior and pattern. And then therefore you can craft a lot more targeted marketing campaign, which then drives a better business results. So I do feel that AI absolutely, uh, you know, will empower us to deliver the right message to the right person at the right time. So it will be quite crucial for from a marketing perspective in future. It's really nice to see how positively driven you are with, you know, with the use of AI and, and, and being able to utilize that with, with how efficient things have been with your team and even your marketing plans for the year. So for Zine, I want to ask this question next. What is the role of the CMO in one word for you and why? Look, I would say orchestrating. The amount of different elements that a marketeer or a CMO needs to sort of navigate through to create the ultimate marketing strategy to drive business results is a lot. So really orchestrating different elements, right? So understanding the consumer journey, which is constantly evolving, understanding the different touch points and how we can interact at a brand level with them. And in order to do that, the internal collaboration is also very important. The cross-department alignment is absolutely critical across departments. By that, I mean marketing with sales or product team or supply chain, finance, customer service, because they are all tapping into those customer touch points. So to ensure that unified customer experience, it's quite important to have that internal collaboration and agree on consumer experience that we as a company want to deliver. So yes, absolutely, I would say orchestrating would be the word and orchestrating these elements a CMO can really lead to drive the marketing strategy to ultimately drive the business goals. I love that. And, you know, it, it kind of reminded me of like how a conductor would make sure that each instrument plays a perfect symphony in an orchestra. So wonderful answer. You know, just one of our last questions here. What career advice would you like to give or share to other marketing leaders? Look, I would say embrace lifelong learning. Learning never stops, really. doesn't matter what role you're in, how many years of experience you've got. The marketing landscape is constantly evolving. The technology we use to market is constantly changing the way a consumer buys and the consumer journey is, is constantly changing. So I think constantly upskill yourself would be quite absolutely crucial. Secondly, would be championing marketing as a strategic driver for the company. In today's world, there there are often a mindset that marketing department could be an expense center, whereas that perception really needs to change and marketing really needs to be a strategic driver from an overall company performance perspective. Thirdly, agility and adaptability, I think are absolutely crucial in the current business environments, the ability to pivot strategy, adapt to a new direction, new circumstance is quite a critical as a marketing leader to be able to navigate your teams through uncertain times. And last but not least, always lead by example for your team.